So last week I shot this video and I think I sent it to you. And then it was about yeah. three meetings that you got to have at the end of the year. The second thing is uh, me with your account. You know, as a follow up to that, right? Let's, let's, let's pretend that you are my tax CPA. If I'm meeting up with you, what will your advice be? Like, what are some things that I can do with that money um, right now before the end of the year? You know, looking at, at what sort of expenditures um, you might want to make for the end of the year, and, and especially because right now we're kind of coming up on the sort of pivotal tax year. Well, there, there's some uncertainty as far as what next year is going to be as far as tax rates. They'll probably be lower. So if you're going to actually spend money, um, and maybe you should do it this year while the tax rate is still going to be high, you know, getting those sort of that cap backs. Because obviously, if you think you have the ability to choose what's known as like 179 depreciation, so you could just expense that this year or the year that you purchased it or depreciate over a longer term. So, again, if you have a big year, you could buy um, all these, you know, all this capex machinery, car, or whatever, and you could expense right. it this year. And then again, that will essentially decrease your taxable income. And the way things are looking, especially on corporate tax, if this sort of tax plan goes through, then the corporate tax is going to be dramatically reduced. It's especially important now because in 2018, the tax rate might be significantly lower. How would you advise entrepreneurs to be careful on that? Because I feel like a lot of times people talk about, hey, you know what, I'm just going to spend money. Yeah, I mean, I think that's when it comes down to, and this is why it's not just like, you know, speak with your accountant, but also really understand your management team, what the real needs are. You know, you really have to understand strategically where those where those needs arise and and whether it makes sense to to do it now or this is going to be something that you're going to buy anyway, then sure, that it makes sense to do it now. But if it's more of an expenditure towards the latter half of the year, or not exactly needed, and you have other cash flow needs, you know, and, and, and marketing and stuff that you really need to take care of if you want, then obviously it's to hold the cash for, for, for that. Okay, maybe the owner wants to put a lot of money away this year. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And, and that's another sort of big decision that you want to make with management team. And then you know, his financial advisor, um, if they want to put away money, there's a yeah. few ways to do that. Um, one is what's known as a solo 401k or a regular 401k. Solo meaning if they're just kind of a sole company owner, then they can contribute up to 53000 in a 401k. Um, 18000 that could be uh, a Roth. Rest could be a traditional 401k. And the difference between a Roth and a traditional is that you put away pre-tax, right? So you, you get that deduction. So you would get that deduction on your corporate tax return. That money would grow tax-free, but then when you take it out, that's taxable income. Another um, potential plan to set up is known as a cash balance um, defined benefit plan or profit sharing plan. That's um, again kind of a retirement plan, meaning that people that are older, so a lot of my clients that are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, um, but the, the older they are, the more they're allowed to contribute. And but that so, sounds more complex and more customized, right? It is more complex. There's a, definitely a lot more rules, um, even in the way you're able to invest the money. I think it's actually more of a conservative investment approach. Um, but you can put away more than, let's say, other employees, because if you're an older owner, getting your 50s or 60s, you're allowed to put away more money because of the way that they do the actual analysis. But again, for people that are, you know, maybe have like a half a mil or more in, in that income and they really don't have a lot of need for that money, you know, they could put that away um, and essentially saving a lot of tax money. So, you know, those are, those are two things, again, as you, you know, talk about these sort of meetings that people have with their, with their internal staff or even the externally with their, with their financial advisor um, and trying to sort of figure out what can I spend on the company? What might I want to take away and put away for myself uh, retirement wise? And yeah, and those are, those are kind of the two big decisions that, uh, that people you know, might have and might want to make. Awesome. Cool, man. Cool. Thank you so much, Vinny, for taking yeah. the time out, man. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, See you guys. Stuff. Ciao. Good.